Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. It didn't always look good for the Toyota 86 Sports Coupe, but it has returned for 2022, now wearing the Gazoo Racing, or GR badge, just like Toyota's other cross-brand collaborated coupe, the Supra. This new GR86 is still a joint project with Subaru, where it's known as the BRZ. That being said, it's no surprise this second generation still uses a four-cylinder boxer engine, but now it's a 2.4 liter with a slight horsepower bump to 228. Torque is also up to 184 pound-feet, but the real improvement is that the power curve has been widened and now peaks at 3700 RPM as opposed to the 2 liter in the first gen peaking at 6400. It's all still sent to the rear wheels via 6-speed manual or 6-speed automatic transmission. The manual was thoroughly tinkered with to provide smoother shifts, while the automatic now adds paddles to the steering wheel. 0 to 60 time is improved by nearly a second over the first gen car, with the manual getting there in 6.1 seconds. There are only two trim levels, base and premium, both of which can be had with either transmission. Base models ride on 17 inch wheels with Michelin Primacy HP tires, while premium trims get 18 inches wrapped in stickier Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Premium versions also get this swoopy duckbill spoiler. Inside, all models go with a nice looking digital gauge cluster and 8 inch center touchscreen. Premiums get heated front seats with a mixture of leather and Alcantara, two more speakers for a total of eight, as well as aluminum sport pedals. When it comes to the chassis, both trims are identical, using McPherson struts up front and a double wishbone rear. Torsional rigidity is increased and the Gazoo Racing Team even managed to lower the center of gravity, which was already low. All this to say, the GR86 is a driver's car, which is why Toyota invited us up to Monticello Motor Club in New York for some track time. Well, one thing's for sure, the personality of the original 86 has carried over into the new one. It's very confidence inspiring on the racetrack. It's not overpowered, it's really well balanced, so throwing it into a corner and then correcting if you have to is really easy. And the torque curve is much appreciated out on the track, having that longer torque curve, it comes in earlier but it's not a revolutionary change in power. It's not like you're gonna be really at a different level of speed with this thing. It's all about that torque coming out of corners, but ultimately you're still talking about 228 horsepower. The manual transmission is still the way to go. I mean, if you really wanna have the best experience in the GR86, manual transmission is a must have. This automatic with its paddle shifters just doesn't give you the same feeling. And I mean, you aren't going to break lap records with this car. So being particularly fast with your shifts isn't of much concern to me. It's just about having fun driving the car and the manual is absolutely more fun. At the base grade, you get these primacy tires. They're not quite as sticky as what you get in the premium model and it's very noticeable. There's a lot more rear end play, but that can also mean a lot of fun. If you want in on this fun, the 2022 GR86 is set to hit dealers this November. As usual, Toyota isn't releasing the exact price until we get closer to the on sale date, but they did say it will start comfortably under $30,000. So why don't you get comfortable and keep it locked on Motor Week, where we'll have more on the GR86 soon.